Are you needing to create custom SVGs? Well, in this video, I wanna share with you the process that I take to create custom SVGs. Hey, what's going on guys? Edgar here with AE Timber and Pine. In this video, I wanna share with you how I create simple SVGs. We're gonna be jumping into a clip from my most recent live stream where I showed you the process that I take to create a custom flag. I showed you how I created a simple SVG from a simple image. I then took you guys into Car by Create and created the custom flag. And then also in Car by Create, I created the tiles for a tiling job. Before jumping into the clip, I do wanna state from the get-go that this is using Silhouette Studio business version. It is a paid program. So I did wanna tell you guys upfront that it is a paid program. I think it's a very useful program. It does all the work for me. I don't have to do a whole lot of adjustment. It just takes care of it all for me. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video clip from that live stream. All right, like I said, we're in Silhouette Studio and I hope you guys can see this because, you know, to be honest with you, it's kind of hard to see on my end and I'm like right in front of this computer. Uh, but I'll tell you guys why. So this is the custom logo that's going to go into the flag. It's going to be not in the, not, it's not going to be in the union. It's going to be in the stripes. So it's going to be off to the right hand side. And so it's, I prefer to make that a single piece flag. And because this person wants a medium sized flag, which is my 19 and a half by 36 um, inch flags, uh, I have to tile it. It's not, it's too large for my CNC. Excuse me. And so the first step for me is to make this into an SVG file. And so how do I do that? What's really cool about Silver Studio it has an option to create cut files for their for their you know their machine, and I can also create SVG files for you know anything. And it's I'm not going to go into the you know step by step because you may not be using Silver Studio, but it does have this trace option. I'm not too sure exactly what it's called. But what I do is I just select this, and then it highlights everything yellow that can be cut. All right, and so then I have the option of, you know, working some of these settings here, but everything that is yellow is gonna be created into an SVG file. So, or it's gonna be created into a cut file. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's how I create the file. I'm, I'm not even joking. It does all the work for me. I don't have to do anything. And this is why it works really well for simple files, simple logos, simple designs. If it were very intricate, like a California Highway Patrol, uh, emblem or a police badge there's no way I, I could spend the time to get all the details but this is very simple it's just the horse these stripes this text this circle and i can definitely do that so i'm going to go ahead and then click trace and then what happens it, it removes that but here's the the magic trick here i just click on my logo and remove it move it over here to the side and i am left with the cut file. And now what I can do is I can save this as an SVG. Now there is some, you know, extra stuff here that I would have to do, you know, I had to release the compound path. I don't want this extra stuff here. All these little squares are extra vectors that I don't need. And I would have to go in there and individually, you know, delete everything. Um, so I don't want to waste you guys' time. I've already done that off, off screen here. But that's, that's really the whole process. So if it's a really simple logo design, I bring it into Silhouette Studio for business. It's a business one. You have to pay for that um, business um, version because that's the only way that you're going to be able to export export it out as an SVG. So that's the catch there. Um, so let me go ahead and delete this because I don't need it. I already created it. I've already deleted all those extra little um vectors and now i have my cut file here okay so what i do is and i just make sure to group everything i don't want to lose anything group it i'm going to bring it over i think that's kind of a tricky thing about if you ever decided to use silhouette studio you have to bring it into the the cut area to be able to save it get rid of this here so just bring it into the grid. This is, you know, the cutting area of the Silhouette Cameo. We're going to come here to File, Save As. I'm going to save it to my hard drive. Just download it here to the desktop. Here the format is going to be SVG, Ford Mustang, SVG. That's simple, guys. All right, guys, so I hope you guys found that video helpful. If you guys want to check out how I created the custom flag using that SVG, go ahead and click on your screen right now.